Hello Aries and welcome to your June reading. So uh, I've meditated and shuffled and laid down the first layer of cards like usual and what I got uh, as the underlying energy that's for me is uh, what spirit uh, wants to talk about. The five of pentacle that's the energy of uh, being left out in the cold, not getting what we deserve, um, suffering alone. Also the five of uh, swords, that's being screwed. So uh, these two energies are very hard uh, together. That's the world screws me and I always end up with nothing. Okay? And we have the Ten of Pentacles. So, uh, Ten being the end of a cycle in how you manifest your reality. The reality of your kingdom. Um, I think last month you were changing your story, how you speak of yourself and how you see yourself. That can be uh, a result of that. Because when we have that mentality of I never get what I deserve, people always screw me over. That's uh, what we uh, live in uh, our uh, true reality. In the month of June, how this is going to uh, live out, we have here Judgment and the Ace of Cup. So that is very good because Judgment is is the our higher intelligence okay represented here by the angel and the trumpet reviving parts of us our situations that were dead before but that uh, rebirth a rebirth is you went through the life you died and you're coming back you transformed in your death death is transformation and coming back anew, a rebirth, and a rebirth, a calling, a rebirth on your heart, on your emotional state, on your capacity to receive emotional abundance from the universe. In the middle, there you are, King of Wands. That's the king that manifests what he wants but also what he believes. So that's that passionate masculine side that is active, that goes out there and manifests. And we have the Six of Swords. So there's like, I would read it like this, it's like if you have this understanding maybe of your value, of your heart, of your capacity to receive, and there you are in your power, your masculine side, how the masculine side of us manifests, he relies on our feminine side, how she feels, what she senses, her connection with the divine. So we have those two inside of us, that kind of triangle. So there's that uh, revival, rebirth of the heart, and there's your masculine side, ready to go manifest and with the six of swords that means it's like a going to calmer waters of what was hard before emotionally now is going to be much calmer but keeping the lessons uh, the understandings and the lessons there keeping them and see you have there the feminine the soul which is represented by the child there the inner child and the masculine side guiding us with his willpower, because that's the one there, guiding uh, you through calmer waters. In the future, we have the Two of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, and the King of Swords. So, you could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Or this is, uh, again, your masculine side, but uh, very clear mentally. 
uh, two of pentacle there's these two realities here uh, like I often say uh, this is Jupiter in uh, Capricorn so Capricorn is ruled by Saturn Jupiter and Saturn they don't really get along together so it create it can create this okay this can be an eternal pattern that you are repeating or if you structure yourself in the, in the Saturnian Capricornian manner then Jupiter all the energy of abundance and and, uh, and um, expansion of Jupiter can be funneled and structured and it can be very good but for that you have to be centered and to know exactly what you want to create and to be uh, very structured about it and here we're talking about the past we're talking maybe about something from the past uh, that can come back maybe an air sign or uh, the energies of the past there that are going to be funneled structured and uh, very clear because uh, here under the deck I have the seven of pentacle and the seven of pentacle is uh, reassessing tending our garden uh, making a point of looking at our life what we've invested in uh, and, and uh, is it worth it uh, what has it given me until now it's all that questioning that we are doing uh, so the month of June would be something a bit like that but you will be thinking about these two energies and how it affects your kingdom also maybe you will notice that those energies come from uh, generations before you that you have received in your childhood or or just karmically and that you had to live out an experience there until you went through it but month of June clarity comes in rebirth about your art you're going your heart you're going into calmer waters you will juggle a bit this is asking you to uh, get centered and and, uh, and structured and there we have the six of cups so the energies of the past that are very uh, clear and uh, him when he manifests he planned the whole thing his head is cleared and everything two kings it is going to be affecting your manifestations so let's clarify I call upon spirit I call upon the light and I call upon my God help me clarify this reading for Aries for the month of June all right okay talk to me about judgment talk to me about judgment all right mm -hmm. you're fast judgment clarified by judgment so that means I've already said what it was about there's nothing to say more <laughs> that's when they do that okay <clears throat> and see I have the world here it's the end of the cycle of that talk to me about those two fives there prairies those two fives five of pentacle and five of swords page of swords so that see the page of swords just received the ace of swords so he got that understanding and he is going to uh, try and use it learn more it's it's that kind of aha moment and then you're kind of new on that path of understanding so that means that you understand these energies you got it but you finish with the king so you go from the page to the king that is very good Talk to me about that Two of Pentacles. Hmm. 
hangman so there is going to be uh, maybe a little pause time there because once you understand that and you're all on a new path a new part of you is being reborn uh, after going through death after transforming uh, and you receive all that energy that Jupiter wants to bring you, uh, maybe you are going to be, oh, okay, uh, is, is this, uh, uh, how is this going to look and all of that. There's a need for you to bring your intelligence. The hangman is bringing his intelligence into uh, what was going on in the unconsciousness so that it is enlightened. He's bringing his enlightenment. There's maybe going to be a little pause time and maybe a sacrifice of an old way. Okay? One of those two pentacles. Not to repeat your pattern. Not to repeat the old karma. You are, you are going to have to bring your new intelligence into this. Six of Cups. So you had the two fives, disruptions, and the two six, rebalancing. Probably healing your past too. Because once we understand a pattern and maybe how our ancestors lived the same thing, uh, there's kind of a um, forgiveness that happens. Uh, about how things were, how things were played out. Six of uh, six of cups. Mm. That is the six of cups. So, in the past, see, maybe there was that energy here. And uh, maybe you are going to have a moment of grief about things, how things turned out in the past. Because now you will understand them. You will understand how, uh, because of that mentality, there was no way this could um, uh, give abundance or solidity and all of that so there's that uh, moment of acknowledgement of grieving there of something from the past letting it go uh, at the same time you are asked to let go of something here a sacrifice maybe but with that I have the chariot and I have justice so it is something that is just that is going to end that karma and that is uh, going to be successful so it's like a bittersweet uh, transformation because sometimes we like to hang on to ways of thinking see the the five of pentacles uh, ways that even though they weren't serving us at all but we knew them but with justice two major arcanas here justice and the chariot so your shadow side and your um, uh, light side, uh, your unconscious and your conscious being aligned for success. And that is why the justice is here to re-put balance in things. Talk to me about uh, the king of swords. Why is the king of swords there? Okay. So the King of Swords, it's that archetype that, uh, you know, he conquered all of the swords. He is clear in his head. And here, 
I have the Two of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Two of Swords. You will be a bit chambranla, I think, about really letting go that from the past there doing your grieving because this is asking you to keep this is like a paradox to keep one of the two realities understandings that you had see that sword that the page of uh, swords has that he understands now the dynamic of the five of pentacle and the five of swords but there's still an old belief there and it's asking you to uh, even if you don't see uh, what it's really in your concrete to uh, go inside and take a decision to uh, drop one of the swords, drop one of those realities that you don't want to live anymore. And it is going to be under the moon, that means in your unconscious. Drop maybe uh, disappointments and heartache. Maybe you had disappointments and heartache, see, with the grieving uh, from uh, an, uh, an air sign. It's possible, but there's, uh, do you want to carry that for the rest of your life or not? Because it's a choice. That's the Gemini card. But it is a choice to drop it and, and remove it from your reality of how you create in the future. Because here, you see, uh, she, the female looks at the angel, looks at her, uh, what is higher than her. Uh, spirit, the universe, God, name it like you want. And so she is inspired by that, the feminine side inside of us. The masculine side looks at the feminine side. Animus, anim, uh, anima, animus. And that is how... Because he is going to be the manifesting part of us. The masculine side that goes out there and does. So you, it's a choice because it's a choice to uh, look to higher of us. Uh, higher than us to create. So it, it's that need of uh, being clear about that. To make a choice to carry this with you or to drop it. To be like this so there's your choice here which of those two realities do you want to keep your heartaches that were created by these energies or to make your choice in life to elevate yourself to look up to spirit and the divine to manifest this is very different So there's what your King of Swords is going to decide and cut the reassessment here. The reassessment. You, it, you are going to be disappointed or it's more like seeing truly uh, what is uh, no more and seeing how these energies in your life, in your background, in your genetic uh, uh family karma there affected and recognizing it seeing it because it does come from the past there and finishing that karma <clears throat> bringing your intelligence into that uh, energy there by understanding and seeing it clearly having that illumination and not to be up and down in your emotions anymore, but actually centering yourself, understanding it, and letting it go. So, Aries, uh, last month I think that you had uh, changing your story, but now you're going to have to... Uh, let it go with the new you because in the month of june you are getting rebirth here twice <laughs> okay so you have to let go of your old you and and let that new part of you with your new heart manifest and go to calmer waters so 
This is your reading Aries for the month of June. I'm going to wish you a beautiful summer. Thank you for your comments and your subscribes and shares. I, I, I read them all. And uh, so, namaste. Bye-bye.